There we go. So we're recording now. Yep. Um, we don't really have an agenda, do we? Nothing. We have a plan. We're just like, okay, meeting, 11 o'clock. Let's go for it. Yeah, before either of us have to go to, to work, um, we are now working from home, so we don't get to see each other weekly like we have. Um, to let you guys know, I'll let, I'll let Natalie interpret. Uh, so Greg and I got the notification today. Greg and I were supposed to be in Edinburgh. Uh, we were going to be driving back to Edinburgh to return the car, spend a day in Edinburgh before we flew out. So um, our trip to Scotland uh, to go lambing uh, was canceled. Uh, it was actually canceled four days, four days before we were supposed to leave. Um, I held out as long as I could. Um, in fact, uh, it wasn't until Greg's uh, job mandated that we could not leave the country that um, I finally conceded and changed all of our flights. Um, so I'm hoping, again, fingers are crossed, we've rescheduled for everything for the first week in August. Uh, just, I love it, Patrick. Uh, just for a week, uh, we're, we were gonna be there for two weeks, but now we'll just be there one week. Um, helping our friend again, Linda, um, Kelpie Cottages. Uh, so we'll be helping her with their lambs. It's there on the Isle of Skye, and it's near the Neist, Lighthouse, which I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly. I think it's N-E-I-S-T uh, Lighthouse. So I'm going to set up, a, I'm going to write a little blog. Uh, I've got the day off today. And I'm going to write kind of um, how that feels because I saw a post today that it was okay to grieve and be upset that your trip was canceled. Um, thinking about some of like the high schoolers where their prom and their graduations um, are canceled. I don't know if you saw this, Natalie, but um, Virginia, I believe it's Virginia, now has the safer at home mandate until June, which is I didn't crazy. See that. Yeah, um, I, I have not verified it. So, um, but yeah, it's, I know that we are um, at home until April, I believe. Uh, is what's going to go what's gonna happen. Yeah. So exciting times, different, but we're, uh, we're still excited about um, being able to travel once all of this is done. In fact, it's going to be like probably a mad rush. Uh, <laughs> so if you're itching and you want to get outside and you want something to look forward to and you want you know, you just want um, a trip. We are still going on the West Highland Way hike in uh, October. So send us a, hey Patrick, send us a message, uh, thistleandcoos.com, find us on Facebook, find us on Instagram, so that we can all get together and really think about um, how this is gonna work and plan for it and not let the, uh, the stress and the anxiety um, of this coronavirus and the, us having to stay home be a, uh, what's, I'm trying to think, don't let it win. I can't think of a better way to, to put it. Um, because once this is over, we still, we gotta relieve, re, re, we gotta continue to live. There we go, it'll come up. Uh, continue to live our lives and we're going to travel. We're going to do a lot of traveling. <laughs> yes. And if you'll notice Patrick's in the background, so that's kind of the benefit. I don't know if you know that Natalie homeschools, so it's not been a big, huge transition for her, um, to, to move from, um, working and homeschooling because she has been doing that since kindergarten, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think Natalie's big transition was when she decided to um, stop going out to work in, as far as the public arena of where we work in an, an office and uh, decided to stay home. And, and she posted that video, um, I believe on your personal page, Natalie, is that where it was? Yeah, on Facebook. Yeah. I just came home. It was one of those things where when I, 
I decided at work, it was time, this is before everybody um, is being more mandated and encouraged uh, to work from home. So I came home because I was like, oh my gosh, everything's so different. What's going on? Like, I was in this weird numb place, but honestly, uh, since being at home, I you know I've been cleaning, not that I really wanted to, but I'm I asked my son, I said always checking in, how you doing? Because we have some uh, tutorials that we do when we homeschool, but we're not we haven't left the house in two weeks, and uh, you know I just kind of how you doing? How you doing? He goes I'm having the time of my life. It's like seriously why? I'm home more. We have breakfast, lunch, and dinner as a family together. Uh, the dogs seem less agitated. I'm, you know, we're working from home. We're, we're, you know, kind of building a, a calmer life instead of go, 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 go. So it's, it's actually been a nice eye opener. There are parts where you're like, I want to leave the house. So we do, we go for walks and um, it has been nice, but yes, walking and because every day my challenge which I challenged before all this whole Corona virus came out that I would walk no less than 10,000 steps a day to plan mainly for the West Highland way, but also because I don't want a wild camp. I put that out there. But now if I go less than 10,000 steps, which I did yesterday, I only walked about 7,000 steps, Connie. Um, so I'm on uh, Two three checks. marks. Is that three marks? Three, three. marks. So if I get up to 20, that means one night I have to wild camp. But the more that I've been outside and walking and kind of becoming stronger, um, I, it, it may actually become a reality where I'll uh, wild camp, which I love to camp. I just don't want to carry it all on my back. So we still got a lot of plans. We have uh, stuff that, you know, we're coming up with because we're in 2020. So right now it looks like the travel we're still planning on October. Um, but while we're there, we're going to be doing some research in um, Prague and Vienna and possibly some other places too on some tours. We'd like to set up at least four different tours in 2021. So we've got some planning. We'll keep you posted. We'll give you a, a, a wider heads up um, so it's not last minute. So you have a good year to plan, uh, save money and you know stuff like that. And give you a chance to kind of see the world. So that's, that's exciting. So we're still out there. We're still going to write blogs and YouTube. If you have any ideas or any of your own experiences or pictures you want to share and contribute, let us know. We'd love to, to be able to put it out there too. So, but other than that, we are hunkering down um, and honestly really enjoying it. I'm, surprised to say because I'm that kind of person I don't like to sit at home I don't like to be by myself well I'm not really by myself so thank goodness for technology so little rabbit hole there <laughs> yes no I agree see I like to be at home so this has been lovely <laughs> in fact I'm, I keep looking I'm like why are there people in my house oh that's right there are my adult children and my husband and the dogs and the, <laughs> and the birds that are outside that I keep feeding and then I yell at them when they start fighting because I'm that crazy neighbor like that but we've gotten yard work done my flower beds are clean um, I'm getting ready to start working on my garden um, so I've appreciated the time where I've had to stay home and do things and not feel forced to do things if that makes sense um, it's not like kind of like what Natalie said. Normally, I'm so busy because I'm running from here to there, and um, I've actually just just kind of it's calm. I don't know how to describe it. It's really an odd thing to be home. Um, my kids and I we've done family dinners again, which we haven't done, gosh, in a long time. Um, and you know, we all sit down and, and we eat. Now I will say I'm getting a little tired of cooking. Um, so we did order out last night and you would have thought that we hadn't eaten in years. So supporting the local economy because <laughs> we ordered from two different restaurants 
and pasta, <laughs> pizza, bread. I mean, and we, I was like, oh, well, we'll have leftovers for tomorrow. We have a salad left. <laughs> we literally like gorged ourselves. So, um, but yeah, it was, it was wonderful and I don't feel guilty about it. Um, I do have a little bit of a, a carb bread baby and you can kind of see uh, where I'm a little bit puffy, <laughs> but it's all good. So yeah, everything's going, it's going good. And we're, we're just excited to bring you guys more, um, just if nothing else, just a little bit of joy with travel. And that's what we've, uh, we've experienced and that we love about travel. So we're just going to be posting, um, our scheduled post that Natalie does an amazing job. So if some of them pop up and you're like, oh, well, that's interesting. Now, why yes, it, was, it was like, um, I scheduled to post some of our uh, YouTube videos. I did this a month or so ago. And so the other day it popped up and it was like, if you could go anywhere right now, where would you travel? I'm like, oh, the timing couldn't have been better. And I think today, it was going to be how to pick the perfect flight or something. I don't it's, know. It's, it's like seven tips. It's seven tips for the, the perfect flight. <laughs> wow. I'm like, okay. Um, I don't want it to depress anyone, but I was like, um, no, please don't. Yes. And we're going to get Patrick's perspective here in just a second too. I, I'm curious on, um, come here, Patrick. On honestly, just you know, life in general, real quick, a few sentences. What what are you loving about um, the coronavirus quarantine? It you get to stay home, but I hope it dies off. Yeah. Two, it just my mom stays home. Three, like we all get to spend time once dad's home and everything. But there are blessings in disguise for sure. But um, yeah, another little rabbit hole, I thought, because he's been in the background, like aching and itching to be on camera. So I was like, come on in and have a little um, spotlight moment. Yes. So, but yeah, just uh, we're going to keep posting um, still travel ideas. Uh, like I said, everything's been scheduled out till like the summer because I'm even surprised when uh, a posting comes up. I'm like, Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So we're still traveling. We used to don't, you know, not travel when all this is over. So um, we're still putting ideas out there, tips, tricks, tutorials, guides. So, and um, do you want to say anything else about that? We're good. Yeah. <laughs> We're good. Okay. Like, I'm like, oh, yeah. That's another video. We'll do yeah. another video on that one. Uh, so yes, thistleandcoos.com, read our blogs, like us, comment, follow, all, all that good stuff. Um, let us know if there's anything um, that uh, you want to get together. If you want to do a happy hour, uh, you know, we are game for that. We will set up a Zoom call and we can you know, if somebody has like, oh, what, remember those old uh, cameras? That's all I can think of is the button. I can't think of what they're called. Remember they were in a circle and it was like the film. Oh, is it, is it the what, the projector? Yeah, like a projector. Is there an actual name for that? Because remember how they have like the little, like little squares with the film and you put them in there. Oh, they, my, yeah. my mother used that. We had the white, <laughs> but it was like the projector. It was, um. Yeah, what's that My called? My grandfather used that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. Because we could literally, if someone had that, you could pop it up on the wall, narrate, and we'll look at your travel pictures. And we'll just have a grand old time. <laughs> yeah. I, um, like I also have a friend, um, and I'm going to say this before I even ask her, um, that reads tarot cards. So if anybody is interested in taking a little trip that way, who knows? Uh, she's also a phenomenal herbalist. Um, so if um, any of us want to learn how to maybe make some infused um, 
vodkas or gins, you know, that might be um, something, something that we can create community and we can support some of our small businesses um, because uh, they right now are struggling in any way that uh, we can do that, I think is uh, what one of our purposes, especially as uh, travelers. And we enjoy supporting um, those smaller businesses when we uh, go into different uh, countries and cities. In fact, Natalie had posted about street food. We could do a cooking, you know, uh, hey, what's in your pantry? Let's see who can come up. We, almost like a, um, what, what is uh, like a game? What's the game? Uh, chef. Chopped. Chopped. Something where you just like, oh, I have an, you know, an apple. I have, um, I have a black banana. I have, yeah, like let's all mix it together. Yeah, because I, I, I would sit back and watch because, um, luckily my husband's a chef because I'll look in the cabinet and be like, I have nothing. There's nothing. And then he pulls out 20 things and it's, it's like a gourmet meal. So, I have some learning to do. It would be fun would when be I was fun. a child. When I was a kid, my sisters and I used to play this game, where uh, and I don't suggest it, but uh, sitting with blindfolded and they make something and then you have to eat it and guess it. And probably one of the worst ones was bologna with sugar. <laughs> that is gross. Bologna in sugar. <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering if my sisters remember that it was so nasty yeah but anyway so we won't yeah that would that's a bunny trap that is the jelly bean game that she refuses to play refuse refuse <laughs> refuse no I and I won't watch it I won't get involved <laughs> I because um Connie gave Patrick that for Christmas one year chucked it I was like nope <laughs> no nope, and I, nope. knew I hate happened. everyone I knew that would happen, so I didn't even, so I wasn't even, didn't hurt nothing, because I knew, I was like, I thought it was funny, I just wanted to see her face when she, when I gave it to her, I knew that nobody would eat any of it. <laughs> when a jelly bean tastes like a stinky sock, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or dog food, <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we've actually played the game as a family, and we have laughed, so. And that's why, too, I, I need to kind of be more a little bit open-minded because Connie has suggested many times we should, you know, go to, um, like, India, uh, Vietnam, uh, Bali, like, different countries. And I was like, I won't eat. I, I won't eat. Bug. I will. <laughs> I don't know about, what is it, a scorpion? Not sure if I can do that, but... I can eat bugs. I don't know if we can be friends anymore. <laughs> I like um, snails. I do eat. Well, yeah, but that's all. That's like like in, they may just all butter and. I love haggis and black pudding, but I just don't think I can eat a spider, a fried spider. I saw that and I was like. <gasps> I would try. I, I would try. I would not, I would like go and then come back, like not eating for a week or two. I won't do it. I won't do it. Well, they have a bunch of, they have a bunch of vegetables though. I'm, I'm not Anthony. Vegetables, you have fruit, rice. You can eat easy. Rice. <laughs> How to make rice 1000 different ways. Yes. Um, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to, I'm actually going to cut off the recording because then we're going to chit chat a little bit about uh, just some of our plans for you guys. So watch them, support local businesses, stay safe, stay at home, and we will get through this. Subscribe, you hear? And subscribe. And subscribe. That's right. And subscribe. Wash your hands. Get your cat and dog spayed and neutered. I knew that's what you're going to say. <laughs> All right. Okay, bye, everyone. <laughs> yeah, I've got to figure out how to end the recording. <laughs>